Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to work on the cylinder head for the race off project. So stick around, we'll get into it. Hey, welcome back everyone. We got a head, started to take shape, and we'll show you how we got this far. So if you want to see that, stick around. So we got this chucked up, we're going to cut a band in it. That way we have something to chuck onto to cut the chamber on the other side. This will end up being the top side, so we'll get that cut in. All right, now this step here, we'll flip it. And that'll give us something to hold on to, to figure out our chamber and be able to cut it multiple times. But maybe we can get lucky. A little bit of heat in it. Let's flip it. Ah, toasty. You can see we got that step there. Hmm. See, you got a nice little step to grab onto. It's still toasty. But we'll jam this back in.
once we get a, that's a pretty hefty radius. I'm going to change out this cutter for a sharper radius. And that way we don't have to have a huge chamfer in the head either. Being that this is already a small radius cutter, that should give us what we need, but we'll double check. Yup, that is undercut. Alright, so the head fits the cylinder now. Goes all the way down. Okay, everything's looking pretty good. That ought to seal well. And we still have enough material. So have enough material to get our bolt pattern in there. Once we get the bolt pattern in, we'll square it up and make it look like the head needs to. Now let's go injure our brain and figure out exactly what we want to do for this here chamber. All right, I have my squish band marked, and this is just a quick and dirty way to do it. Got a nice radius cutter ground on here, and we're going to scoop this material out. And I'll take it out and I'll actually CC it. I'm thinking we're going to shoot for around two. We're going to shoot for around two CCs. By the time we get decomp and the spark plug in there, it'll probably be up around two and a half. That should give us plenty of compression with the ports we're going to run. But let's try it out. a little bit more relief to it that way I can get in deeper and we'll shim it up just a touch more we'll shim it up just a touch more to get rid of that center All right, we're going to do this really, really quick and dirty way. We're just going to drop it in until we get it about full. I think we still have a ways to go. But maybe not. All right, well, it looks like that's about deep enough. 2.4 milliliters, so that's about two and a half milliliters. Now it is, like I said, this isn't level. This doesn't have the plate on it. But that'll also help compensate for the squish value. So we'll end up putting a 10 millimeter plug in on an angle. That way it'll still fit under the top. But I'm going to set it up and I'm going to drill through this side. That way I know where it's going to be placed. So I got this head on the angle. Got this centered up, right about where I want the plug to come through at. Just plunge this end mill through. Then we'll go through and drill it and tap it for the 10 millimeter plug.
All right, so still have a little bit of deburring to go. Got the plug hole in on the angle. It was still in the rough stages. Here's what we got. Head starting to take shape. Need to tap it for the spark plug, but we're on the right angle. We're real close to it. Let's get this set down in here. All right. That looks like it's going to be just about right once that top cover can come down where it goes. And we'll have to do some trimming, get some stuff out of the way. We'll make this head square. And hard to tell, like I said, I still need to thread the hole. Between the spark plug, the chamber, and the decomp, it should put the compression pretty decent for a 50cc saw. And if it doesn't, we'll know we need to change something. These threaded rods go in here like so. Bolt it down. Bolt it down. Which you can see just like that. And on the ones I can reach, especially this outside edge, I'll put nuts down here to hold it down as well. But the four nuts at the top should be plenty. They're not too awful far out. But those should be plenty to hold everything down into the cradle. But a couple nuts out here aren't going to hurt anything. But you can see, it's starting to take shape. It's starting to look like something. And yeah, hopefully we can get it running here soon. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think. I said we're just going to make it square and get it fitted under the covers. So, all right. Thanks a lot, everyone.